guys! This is going to be a review of the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I know you guys are probably sick of seeing this. You've probably seen it on every blog. Everybody has it. Everybody's talking about it. But I wanted to give you guys a little kind of overview of this palette. I had picked it up a couple days ago at Sephora. I had been eyeing it, looking at swatches online, and I was just like, you know what? I, I want this. I have Naked 1, and I don't have Naked 2. And I know everyone was like, oh, well, if you have the Naked palettes, you don't need this. But for those of you who have the Naked palettes, most of the colors are all shimmer. You have a couple of mattes here and there, but for the so most in part, the Naked Basics palette, you get six colors, five in which are matte. This end one right here, I'm just going to hold it this way because it's easier. Um, this one right here called Venus has like a little shimmer in it, but it kind of acts as like, it kind of like gives a different texture. So if you're doing a, like an all matte look, it adds a little bit of that little oomph to kind of like throw the texture. So it's like different textures basically. So um, I had thought about it and I was like, do I really want to get it? Do I really want to get it? I don't need it. But then I thought about it and I've been doing a lot of neutral looks lately and I've been going back and forth and like I have like five palettes laid out and I'm using like one color from each palette. So I figured this had it all. It had a color I can use for my eyebrows. It had a color that I can use for like my crease. It had basically all the colors that I've been using lately. And not to mention, if you want to pull together a quick look, this would be fantastic for it. And I am completely blinding you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so the packaging I like. It's very, very sleek. Um, it's got this like rubberized kind of texture on it. Like it feels like the Kat Von D, the four pan palette. Uh, that's what it, the quads, that's what it feels like to me. Um, the Naked Basics part is very raised. It's a little bit bigger than, say, like a credit card. This is my little credit card thing in the bub for my wallet. And if you can see, it is a little bit longer than an actual credit card. So it is very compact if you want to do a quick look or take, take this for traveling. This is very good for that. And you get a really good size mirror. The mirror takes up the whole thing. So yeah, that's really all about the packaging. It's just, you know, basic. <laughs> So like I said, you have six shades, and those shades are, get it in frame, those shades are Venus, Foxy, and WOS, which is Walk of Shame. Those are the first three right there. Then there's Naked 2, Faint, and Crave. So like the first three right here can be used as like lid colors. Um, Venus, I actually have on my lid right now. I wore this all day, so my look is probably like not as good as it was when I first did it. Um, you can use it as a highlight color. Um, Foxy and Walk of Shame can be used as like, also be used as highlight colors or all over the lid. I used Walk of Shame all over my lid yesterday. Um, Naked 2 can be used as kind of that like transition color when you're doing like um, any type of look. I use faint to fill in my eyebrows but you can also use that in the crease and Crave is a really, re it's, it's super super dark. Um, I was watching Vintage or Tacky's video, one of her videos and she said that like Crave was like such an awesome black and blended amazingly and she was right on with it. It's completely like I am like oh, I've never had a black that just kind of worked so good. So yeah, that's Crave. And all these colors kind of work together. You can mix and match. You can, it's just perfect. You can do like a bunch of different looks with just this one little palette. And it is, like I said, compact. Um, it is the new Urban Decay formula and I haven't, aside from the smoke palette, really kind of played with the new Urban Decay formula. And some people complained about it. Some people don't really like it. I personally like it. Um, I think that $27 for this palette is worth, because these are full sizes, is worth six full sizes. Um, I mean, if you, it's basically everything you could need to do like a neutral look. That's what I love about it. Um, I'm, I love Urban Decay to begin with, and it is one of my like favorite brands to buy. So everyone's like, oh, is it worth it? Should I get it? And um, 
one of my really close friends wanted like she doesn't wear a lot of makeup but she's like oh I want something just to do something easy and neutral and I recommended this and she was playing with it when I had it out today when she um and she was like oh my god that is so awesome so she's actually going to pick this up because to her it's worth it so if you don't have a bunch of makeup and you just want something that you can easily put a look together that's not a whole bunch of fuss that you're not jumping around from like five different palettes just to create one neutral look this would be it for you at least in my opinion um i have swatches of all these on my blog but i'm gonna the only thing i don't like about it, it is kind of a pain in the ass to open um but i am going to swatch all these for you if you want to see better swatches or high quality pictures you can go check out my blog the link is going to be below definitely check it out so um first one i'm going to swatch is going to be venus like i said if you can tell it's the only not matte color in the whole um thing it definitely has some shimmer to it that's kind of like i said it changes the texture and looks if you have like an all matte it just kind of brightens up the look a little bit the next one is foxy that is foxy and it barely comes up on my hand it's one of those like like your skin kind of but better type colors uh, and then walk of shame is this like peachy kind of pink and it's so pretty that's what walk of shame looks like and it was there's naked too which is like this like taupey color and matte taupey color and that's it right there I like I used it as like a transition color but it can also be used if you're very very blonde for eyebrows I'm very blonde but I still like to keep my eyebrows a little bit darker next there's faint which is this really pigmented brown I'm gonna swatch that right there that's that one and then there's a creep I'm gonna swatch this on my other hand look at that that's amazing like you guys saw that I just swiped <laughs> that is like an amazing pigmented black I said this is so worth the money if you don't have any of the naked palettes I say definitely pick this up if you love the naked palettes I say definitely pick this up this is worth it in my opinion but I think everyone should have a nice little awesome neutral palette in their lives so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, for better pictures, the link below to my blog. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.